Well, howdy, folks. Rod from Rod's Fishing Adventures here. We're sitting in my John boat in the driveway. Tomorrow, me and my son are going to a uh, Coffeen Lake, and it's got a 25 horse limit, so we got to take this old boat. We've got a 25 horse uh, Johnson, Avenue Johnson on it. Um, but anyway, I don't really have a good way to mount my camera in this boat, so I can film that. So I'm going to make me a, this do a little DIY uh, GoPro camera mount out of some PVC and uh, a pipe flange. So stick with me, I'll show you how to do it. Well, we got the first place we're going to pick a spot. This, this is where I decide to do it on the back seat here. I'll just put this uh, pipe flange. It's a one inch pipe flange, galvanized, so it don't rust on the boat. And uh, our lo local farm and home, I was trying to find some flathead stainless steel screws to screw it down with. They didn't have none, so I ended up getting these right here. They're, little, uh, they're stainless steel, so they'll work. But anyhow, this is how we're going to do this part. Well, there's that. That was pretty simple. Next part, we got to run. I'm gonna run up the shed and use my drill press so I can get a, little squ a square hole drilled down through this. So, come along with me up to the shop, and we'll drill a hole through this, and we'll be right back to the boat. Okay, folks, we're up in the shop. Uh, you could do this with a hand drill, but I've got a I got a uh, drill press, so that's how I'm gonna do it, and that help me keep it a little more square. But we're gonna drill a quarter inch hole in this cap and that's what our screw will go into. Get her centered up the best you can. There we go. Now we go back to the boat. Alright folks we got the hole drilled in her and we're back in the boat. I got a quarter twenty bolt, three inch I believe it is. So we'll stick that in through the bottom. All, almost all of them uh, camera mounts are quarter 20 thread, so that's what you need to use for any of them. Put that on there like that. And then tighten her down. Not all you need to do that. It don't need to be super, super tight. And the reason I used a three-inch one is uh, I couldn't find a at the home center either or the farm home. I couldn't find a wing nut, but I was going to put a wing nut on there, and that way, if you got to adjust your camera, your, your angle, which way it's facing, whatever, you can just loosen that wing nut up and swing it around. But we'll just use regular hex nut for now until uh, I can get me a wing nut. That goes on there like that. All right, now we'll cut us a piece of pipe. If you don't have any of these, I highly recommend getting you some. They're great for cutting small PVC pipe. And I'm not even going to measure this. About a four foot piece. And just go slow, and this thing cuts to it pretty good. it is just like that nice slick cut all right folks now we glue our parts all together a little primer first clean the clean her up we got a uh, one inch female uh, glue on to a one inch male threads A little glue in there, a little glue on the pipe. Stick her on, give her a little twist. Let that set up. Alrighty, now the other end. Same thing. Primer. 
and our cap we made with our bolt. A little glue. The glue's getting old, I think. It'll still work though. Stick that on there and give her a little twist. And there's our uh, upright for our hot camera holder. Now all we do is screw that into there, like that, hand tight. There you gotta be nothing special. There we go. That's all there is to that. Well, there it is, folks. I got my old GoPro Hero 4 on it, but uh, it's about five foot tall, somewhere in there, from the floor of the boat, bottom of the boat there. A little bit wobbly. I don't know. I might have to do something about that. Might make her a little shorter or something or figure something out for that. But that's how I did her. Uh, pretty simple. Took me, I might have had 15 minutes into this total. But uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. It's just my way. So thank you for watching. God bless y'all.